hi what you are looking in here is actually a class and a method what is a method or a function a method or a function is something which does a calculation or some or kind of an operation and probably returns something back so there would be methods which don't return anything back those are more kind of a setter methods but most of the methods do an operation and return a value back so here what we wanted to do is do this square operation so we wanted to calculate the square of an integer so that's why this is how you declare an integer so basically what we are doing here is actually declaring an integer i so we are creating an what happens here is in the calculator test whatever value i'm passing in so here if you look at it here i'm passing in to the square a value called 5 so this value would actually go in and fit into this variable i so whatever value which we are passing from the calculator test to this square method goes into this variable this is called an argument sometimes it's also called a parameter uh, so it goes into this para uh, into this argument i and uh, if you look at the syntax of this it says public space in space square so public denotes that this method can be called from anywhere more discussion about it a little later int says what is the value returned from this method so what we have what we want this method to do is take a value and compute the square of the value and the square of the value will also be an integer and that's basically what it represents what is the value expected out of this method so i would want the value which is coming out of this method to be an integer so i'm going to say this is an int and later what you are seeing here is actually the code so inside uh, similar to a class all the code of a method would be in between an open brace and a closed brace so what you see here this is the name of the method square is the name of the method these are called the arguments interchangeably used as parameters um, then you'd see the body of this method between open brace and closed brace and this is the written type of this method which is int and what you are doing inside the method is just returning a constant this is a constant zero so this is just basically a number zero so whatever you return back here would go back to wherever it's called from so i'm saying return one if you look at the output uh, to the calculator test it would go back as one if i call it return 10 it would go back as 10 so this calculator test is actually invoking this calculator object and let's run as JUnit test and let's see what happens. So you, what, here it says expected 10, but was 25. Uh, this is one small error that I have done actually. If you look at this, actually we are expecting 25, but whatever value which we have got is 10. The calculator is returning back. The calculator dot square of 5 is actually returning back 10. Um, one important thing with JUnit is you have to be very careful with the order of the arguments so the uh, order of the arguments for uh, asset equals method is first is expected and then is actual so if you look at it here expected and then actual so actual is what the method returns whenever we say the actual value in a j unit it means the value which is returned from the method so wherever uh, whatever we are doing the value which is written back from there is called um, actual and the expected is the hard coded value in the test so when we pass in 5 I am expecting back 25 so 25 is expected and whatever the method calculates is the actual uh, the other thing is uh, a simple concept called comments so whatever you are seeing here in between slash star and star slash this is called a comment a comment is something which your compiler ignores so whatever i'm writing in between here is not actually any piece of code this is just to help 
you understand uh, what's going on uh, this is not uh, this is not compile or this is not used by the compiler in any way so the next concept which we want to discuss is a is a concept called system under test it's called sister sut system under test so what this basically says is what what are we testing so here the system under test is the calculator square method so basically the system under test for this particular method is the calculator square method so that's basically a simple concept so that's uh, all we want to discuss about system under test for now let's move on to the calculator and let's get it working for a change so now we have a method called square to which there is an argument passed in called int i uh, i don't like the arguments uh, using a short form names for arguments uh, it's better to properly represent what it's called so instead of i i would want to call this argument as number because that's basically a number so uh, i the one important thing about naming uh, as a programmer we are expected to write programs which others are able to understand the program which we write today would be maintained by somebody else tomorrow so it's always useful to write programs which are really understandable and naming of variables methods and classes are the most important things when it comes to understanding of programs so always spend some time thinking what's the right name to name a variable here to this um, argument i think number is the right name because what we are passing in is a number so i call it number and the name of the method is square and the name of the class is calculator if you look at the name of the class it starts with a capital c and the name of the method starts with a small s this is another convention that we follow in java different languages uh, programmers use different conventions in java the convention which we follow is a class name starts always with a caps and we would use something called a camel case camel case is something of this kind so if i want to uh, like if we looked at the calculator test the name of the calculator test that we gave was using cam camel case so what we did is calculator and is the first word so that has a capital c at the start and the test is the second word it also starts with a capital letter so in java we use camel case uh, as the naming convention and the class names always start with a capital letter so calculator test uh, here it's calculator if i had a bigger name for this method i have to use camel case for example if i call this method as square of number there is a bit of redundancy in here this is just an example so i would probably use a name something of this kind even in the method name and the variable name so number 1 for example so for all the names in java we use camel case except that for a class name the first letter even the first word would be capitalized so that's basically the convention that we would use in java we are creating more videos as we speak and if you want to stay updated don't forget to click the subscribe button if you like this video please give us a thumbs up and feel free to share this video thanks for watching until next time